So I mentioned that we can actually add a parameter here. So we go back to our code behind here. We can say public void button uh, string, we'll call it. it. Again, these are just um, things I'm plucking from, from memory here. Now, we're going to add a reference to our button. Uh, actually, we're going to add a reference to our text object inside our button. The way that a button is made up is it has a background, which is the, the, the button itself, and it also has a text element as well, which is the, the actual script. So if I change this value here from button to text, you see that it changes inside of viewport here. So uh, I'll change that to click me just now. <clears throat> so I'll do public text and change this to button text. Um, you notice that it has a red squiggly line there. If you click on resolve and then using Unity um, engine.ui, that's the namespace that you want to add to there. And we are going to use this down here. So we do button text dot text equals message. And this will allow us to change the, the text that is displayed in the button. So if we go back to our code, um, we don't need to drag and drop everything into, we don't need to drag and drop the view model again into our canvas, that's already there. But we do need to specify a different event because right now it's, it's looking at um, the button click here. So we actually want to have it as the button string. So if you see that you've got button string and then it, it takes a parameter here. Now watch what happens when I click on button string. I now have a box here where I can actually enter the text. So I'm going to change that to this is text. I'm going to save this so I don't keep on having to do this. Okay. So I have my button string event handler here and it's expecting text here. So when I click on play, nothing's going to happen actually. In fact, we're going to get that, which is a null reference exception. And the reason why we get a null reference exception is because we haven't actually set up our text field here. So what we need to do is we need to drag our text from our button right across there. And now that we have that slot filled, our text will change. Just the once though, but it, it will change. And the reason why that works is because although I dragged a game object here, um, in reality, um, Unity allows us to uh, specify a component as our field. And when we drag and drop, it will do the right thing, find the component, attach that game object, and then use that as the, the field method there. It's actually a very clever way of doing it. And it's a way that I, I actually recommend that you uh, you set up your view model um, in that you have all your references down there that you need. Uh, and you just drag and drop those in there. Rather than using game objects, you can use the specific components themselves.